are here for an amazing match between two Division Two rivals that I cannot wait to get into. This is going to be Royal Flush versus Genesis, and it's going to be an amazing one because at this point, there's a lot of drama behind this match. This is a rescheduled match, and I cannot wait to see what's going to happen with this one because guess what royal flush is hoping to not have their hopes and dreams flushed down the drain with their playoff fighting chance and hopefully they'll be able to take over genesis here today as they are up 3-1 in their conference and want to take over to 4-1 in their respective Division Two conference. We've got the lineup here, and I'm with Grim for this amazing MKU primetime match. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I'm excited for this one. A little little rescheduled match, so it'll be quite interesting. And I'm excited. You know, I love these two teams. They're very good in their own respective right, knowing Royal Flesh more uh, in my own right. But honestly, I'm excited. I'm excited, too. Well, it'll be a hard to match to live up to after last night's prime time where we went down to race 12. Oh yeah, no kidding. That was uh that, that was pretty ridiculous, I must say. I mean, even uh Euro Cup was absolutely insane as Euro well. Cup was insane. This has been yeah. a great week for prime time matches. It really has been. And we've got the lineups right there for the side of Royal Flush. We've got Asuka, Fate, Jacob, Miles, Tynan, and Type S. For the side of Genesis, we got Dark. And then any, any, uh, any Quito, sorry, my bad. Uh, Juan, Markel, Persian, and Stitch. If you do like that, I am, I'm pretty excited. I mean, Genesis absolutely has just been dominating this division. We got the standings right now. Tell me, do you, tell me a little bit about these two teams, Grim. Um, so Royal Flush, from my understanding, they took a win in their match, the match, one of the matches they just played, and they're sitting at one win, one tie, and three losses. And then for Genesis here, they went one and one today, so they're sitting at three wins, one, um, three wins, one loss, and I believe they won their match last night as well, which pushes them to four. Wow. And, yeah, so it's gonna be a little, a little bit of a battle for, uh, for uh, 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 my brain, a royal flush here. <laughs> it'll be I... a battle, but it'll be it'll be a good match because all, all of these D two matches, for the most part, have been rather close. Yeah, I definitely do agree. I think a lot of these matches have just been very, very competitive, and that's what we love. You know, we don't want to be seeing these blowouts happen. We don't. We, you know, what when they're close and they're battling back and forth, that just shows that the standings are working and these competitors are in an even playing level. And you know what? On the racetrack, everyone starts almost in the same exact spot. And it's just a matter if your communication, your teamwork, and your item management is just going to be better than the next team. For sure, for sure. Do you have any predictions on how this game's going to, or this match is going to finish? Uh, just from the standings right now, I mean, having a 4-1 demanding... Uh, lead right now just saying in general maybe Royal Flush is finally be being able to bring it back because they just won a game has that positive momentum Royal Flush has a chance to take it but Genesis from what I've heard they're just so good they know exactly what they're doing and you know what I can't wait to see what's going to happen here as we get the, into the lobby right now still waiting for people to uh, get in getting their stuff set up and uh, it's going to be quite exciting what about yourself? What do you do? You have any predictions for this one? I think I think Royal Flush is going to take it. They're going to battle back, one needing to battle back puts a lot of momentum in a team. My team just after an own four start just actually chained two wins in a row to hold our playoff hopes alive. It'll it puts oh. a lot it's a, it puts a lot of wind in a team that needs to win rather than a Genesis who are almost coasting. Everybody yeah, exactly. Like four and one. Maybe that fire will give them the opportunity to get where Genesis is slacking right now, maybe, potentially. I think that will be quite interesting to know on uh, whether or not they're going to be able to do this. So at this point, I'm excited to see what's going to go down here. I mean, it, Royal Flush has a ton of talent on their side, as I've seen time and time again from online tournaments and otherwise. And I can't wait to see what they're going to bring here because, you know, going against someone that's kind of like the big baddie in your conference right now, it's kind of intimidating. Oh yeah, no, for sure. But um, 
You know, I don't, I don't think it at the level they're going to be at, I don't think they're going to be too intimidated that both teams have been here before. Absolutely, I do agree with you there. And, you know, I, I think Royal Flesh has the ability to uh, clutch out in these sort of moments and not be too intimidated. But what from what I've seen so far, um, from my few matches that I've seen with Royal Flesh, their item management gets kind of chaotic. There's a lot of team killing. So there's just a lot of things that you really need to be aware of if you're on the side of Royal Flush, that it, it, those little mistakes are going to add up so fast against a team like Genesis. That's that's definitely true. Let's see what uh, what tracks Genesis are gonna Genesis is gonna go here. Ooh, we're um, gonna be seeing PPS slide and Mushroom Gorge. Tell me a little bit about. Uh, do you like Mushroom Gorge? I'm liking the uh, survey I'm doing here because I absolutely despise um, this track. You know, I despise this track, but the clan I'm in loves the track, so I, I, I put up with it, is how I'd say. <laughs> That's always the worst feeling, where you're just the one person in the room, and you're like, uh, no, please. Five other people say yes, but uh, I hate that feeling as well, as we're going to be seeing our first track going to... Oops. A little bit of lag here. Mushroom Gorge, Mushroom Gorge. is Gorge. Like. Yeah, I just think it's really like there's a lot of technical uh, things that you can do on this track because when it comes down to it, Mushroom Gorge is just those mushrooms are not generous in any sort of direction. I would Absolutely say not. being able to do those counter hops and everything and just a lot of effort has to be put forward to race well on this track. I feel like wait, we started here. Now we are off. We see Dark in the front of the pack right now. We're gonna be. Switch it over to type, over to type They're currently in fourth, but we're seeing a lot of top spots from the side of 5D Royal Flush at this point. Oh, we're going to see a gap jump here. Did three people <laughs> fail that? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that you went from top spots to just failing the gap jump. And then falling all the way back down. I don't know if they all failed that, but it might it be like It looked like it, but I think a couple of them did actually make it of the three. At least two of them did. All right. Going back, back over to this. All right. Blue Shell is out. Let's see what's going to be able to happen here. I believe that is heading towards Royal Flush. If I, were, if I remember correctly, they were in first. It looks like they were able to dodge that Blue Shell. Nothing happened in there. Finally landing that gap shot. You know what? Maybe third time's the charm as well with that second lap gap jump. And it's just ridiculous because it's like if you take that a little bit too close, a little bit too far, you're not going to make that jump. And it's pretty rough. So, uh, Anakito is in first here with, uh, I believe, a 2-4 to four for on the side of the uh, flash here. That's going to be a absolute battle oh, as they're going to get ready out. Bad. Oh, just stays on the mission there. That could have been a lot worse. I thought they were going to go right in between them. I thought that bounce wasn't going to save them, but this track is sometimes generous. Going to throw the green shell forward, miss it, and collide it with 5D's other teammate. And now we're going to be seeing top a top two. Three? Oh, top two, five, or four. All right. And then two, three, five for uh, Genesis, which is not bad at all. That's a, it's a, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a pretty even uh, match here going into this one this first race which I mean as long as you're keeping it close because what I've been seeing correct me if I'm wrong right when that lead starts to shift in any which direction it becomes so much harder to come back from because your morality like your your uh, uh, your your morale goes down you don't you're not feeling as confident and it just 60 points doesn't seem like a lot but when you're going against such talented teams it's rough 60 points is a lot when you're in your own division, you know, it's really hard to overcome something once, you, I'd say once you get two, you have a two race slide of possibly a plus 20 to the other team, you can, you can really lose a war there no matter how early on it is. Yeah, it's, yeah, especially when you're going against a team that is at your skill level because it's just the consistency and getting those top spots matter a lot and we've got the wave three peach gardens, tell me if you enjoy this track. Um, I actually enjoy it. I enjoy it more than I did in Wii, and was it Double Dash that was also in? Um, wow. But I do not enjoy the backwards section as much as just driving it normally. You know, not the first person I've heard that from either, because it's just, 
it's 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 a lot of straightaways and a lot of emptiness that can uh, cause a lot of chaos to happen, which. I'm kind of feeling this kind of the same way when it comes to that final turn, but nope. you know, people happen to cut. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've been seeing that a lot too. And if that's apparently way faster, some dry, dry desert type of uh, turn there. Yeah. When it comes to that first turn. Now we're so I believe about... he's got a one three on the side of five D right now. Oh. Whoa, two of those competitors getting yes. hit out there. One was hit and one was eaten, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> actually, that was the first time that happened to me just recently where I actually got chomped by that piranha plant. It's a lot easier than you think. I, I, I was shocked that I actually did get, you know, a little bit bit by there, though. Um, type S, though, has a ghost in hand. Gonna try and slow it. Go a little wide? Is there possibly some sort of shock to anything? We don't know who's in last here. We still won't. Yeah, and now we're seeing uh, in third place has the Piranha Plant gonna work in their way up. Has Asuka right in front of them. Let's see, will they be able to land maybe a back or just hold this for defense right now as fire comes out? Oh, the fire not get around it. It's either a two to four or a top four on the side of Royal Flush. And that's going to be huge. A top four is pretty ridiculous and how powerful yeah, sure. that is to give you such a ginormous lead. And this isn't really a genesis we've been really recognizing as a bomb comes out and that's going to connect to two 5D players, but they had Mushroom to go right back up. Has the Crazy 8, Type S just backing everything. We're seeing a lot of 5D down here. That is not looking good. Not looking good for 5D at all. I always forget you can trick off those chain chomps. That's one of the good additions I like of the glider section. I didn't know that at all, actually. That's actually a fun fact. <laughs> I accidentally did it the other day. And that's, that's how I learned. That's right. actually There's a lot of 5D D near the back. Let's see. They got 2-3, two, two, so that's, that mitigates a lot of it, given that uh, Genesis did have that bottom two as well. Yeah, that bottom two hurts. Uh, just recently, like, I didn't realize how bad three points affects your overall standing in a race, but it hurts. It hurts so much more than you can imagine, because I've seen, like, people get top three, and then those bottom two, and it totally yeah. negates the entire win. It's kind of mind-blowing. It's crazy how you can get a top three, bottom three, and you're only winning by, like, four points. It is. The, it those is. bottom stops can really hurt you. I, I'm not even joking because I never really like thought about it because I'm like, oh, my team got top three. It doesn't matter if I got last. We only got two points. It, it's yeah, pretty exactly. ridiculous. I, I, I'm always, at least recently, now that I'm commentating this whole event, it's blown me away. I mean, that was a slight win on the side of uh, Royal Flush, a plus two. So we're 16, up 16 going into... Um, two tracks here. I've always used uh, Shroom Rage as more of a runner, but I've seen recently a lot of people using it mostly to draft and grab those shrooms. I do agree with you. It's become a more drafter track heavy, and I haven't seen Shroom Ridge actually in a while, so it'd be nice, but we're going to DKJ. Can't go wrong with this track. Front runner heavy. You really don't want to get hit out. The, the biggest problem I have with this track is that there aren't really many catch-up strategies that you can use. But going into this third race, there is a 16-point lead for the side of Royal Flush. Alright. We are off in this one. We're going to be seeing a little bit of a battle, as always, with this first part of DKJ. It's one of my most miserable... Oh, he's to oh. Oh, he pulls off the smart steering. Do you actually like that strategy? Do you think that's I think I think smart steering in that capacity takes more skill than I think people give it credit for. I, Being able to quickly I react see. like that is impressive. I I, I I was yeah, I was about to say the same thing. I think the reaction time and realizing it's about to happen and being able to just fix yourself like that. But at the same time, I also think it's kinda cheap that you just totally negated almost three seconds off your lap time just because you turned on smart steering oh for but, sure you know, it's cheap but impressive is the is my opinion on it i'd say fully that's fair i absolutely do agree there you know because it's like the reaction time and being able to save yourself in that moment is pretty ridiculous but at the same time i'm just like all right you know you should have been 
12th place working your way up by now, but now that you're going to be seeing them in the mid pack yeah. in this point. But right Pack now, we've got a lot of bottoms here. They're, they're, they're like 8, 9, uh, they're definitely 12th as well. That DK is a 5D player. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's. Especially on DKJ, it becomes a lot harder, especially like you're seeing not a lot of high coin totals either. I mean, with seven coins and trying to work their way up past the pop the star, will they be able to get it? Yeah, they ran into, looks like, hopefully, one of Genesis's. Uh, yeah, teammates. that was one of Genesis's. Do we know? I don't think we know who's up there, but Genesis at least have 3 4 right now. Oh, oh the shock! shock. That's the target correct. shock! I believe that was probably a 5D shock, honestly, given how they knocked off to a Genesis right there. Really great usage of that shock at that moment, and is able to be able to grab that double item box, but gets a uh, quad bananas. You know what? Where's Donkey Kong when you need him? Miles going to be able to use their green shell to avoid that red shell throw. Will this be a little bit of a savior grace with that 3-4? I believe we'll only so. See. Oh, oh, oh wow. That that was a great shock, negating the top four, grabbing two of them off glider, and you're getting, what was that, three to six? That's a that's a great shock, all things considered. And truly, I think shock has become a really difficult item to use, in my opinion. I, I, like, well, it's a lot really... harder since the patch. Exactly, exactly. You really have to think about, okay, how do we boost up our spots as best as possible do we wait for the item box do we just get them off guard there but then when you're in this position when you're like have they have top four what is the best spot to use this at and you got to really think ahead of the pack and they did an amazing job doing that for sure room raging piranha plant slide two tracks already that have been picked but not selected by the item or, or the track picker and tell me a little bit about how you like PPS, because this is also a controversial track pick, in PPS, my opinion. PPS, I don't mind it as much as some people. I've been on a lot of inward heavy teams, so I've just kind of, ha again, okay. had to put up with it. Um, I <laughs> really hate doing it out of first, though, because of the way I'm, I'm an outward, personally. Just trying to get those three coins in the middle is a pain, especially in a war. Oh, yeah. I totally do agree with you. I... I, I coin running on that track especially with all the straightaways and how much you can get sniped out in an instant especially which is a stray green shell smart bounce or otherwise it is a pretty pretty rough track in my opinion i like the first half but then when you get to the second half it's just not that fun but we are on shroom ridge right now and this is red shells and mushrooms galore at this point and we're going to be seeing oh. this with that beautiful usage of that red shell back into the mushroom and now got to watch out for the drag going to be able to maneuver themselves wide only has one coin so they're going to be going a little bit slower than the rest of the pack yeah for sure there's a lot of coins on shroom ridge though so it's not that hard to to really boost your coin count quickly especially around this turn where a lot of people end up dying to blind to whether it's like a blind red or a blind bomb yeah, exactly. And that's the cool thing about Shroom Ridge is that there is a lot of space. It's really, uh, in some points, like in this court, like in this little uh, highway section, you could get back, you can get ruined very easily. But then you have this entirely huge off-road of a shortcut that I absolutely love. Oh, I love this. I think this track is uh, one of the better ones they've added in the game since uh, since the new track's been old, Shock! Including the blue, I was gonna assume that's Genesis's shot because they're totally gonna catch five D off guard. And the back bomb isn't going to land, so that's just gonna allow Genesis to keep this first place run. Yeah, they're top point. two right now, even. And now we're seeing five D here. They are six, seven, eight, six, seven, nine now. Sure Will they be able to be work huge, out? Though. Oh, sees the star right behind him. Got to be careful. Squid does not matter. There's no games here to be found. Going to be able to have two more shrooms for this shortcut. Going to use the first one right before it uses the second one. It's an item box, even. Oh, he can hit out the Genesis, and he does. Oh! No! Is he falling to 11? 11th. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's a big point swing just from that one, one red. That was a pretty brutal race for the side of Royal Flush here. <laughs> you see Waluigi just slamming themselves into the car over and over and over again, <laughs> just really disappointed with themselves. That is brutal, though. From 5th to 11th, 
that is not the spot you want to be in but it happens you know and i actually i like the fact that you have the ability to counteract shortcuts sometimes like on pps you do have that very slim margin of time whenever you do take that final shortcut but with shroom bridge you can still counteract an extremely strong shroom usage into that final section and being able to bring them back all the way to 11. so i really i really do enjoy that aspect of the track Here's another controversial one, Berlin Byways. What's your opinion on that one? Uh, you mean London Loop? Just kidding, they can be interchanged. I do <laughs> not enjoy these tracks at all. I uh, I mean, I like them because it's a lot of drifts. There's a lot of drafting. There's some cool shortcuts. But my god, they couldn't have made them more similar. It's pretty ridiculous. Like there's, it, there's a lot of there's a lot of portions where I'm going. Like the only main difference between the two tracks really is the chain chomp traffic on London getting changed with the really what can end up being really annoying actual traffic on Berlin. Oh yeah, I, no, I definitely I definitely do agree, and I I think I like tracks with cars on them. I think it's just fun. It adds another element. It adds a little bit of goofiness to what you're actually even going up against with the other racers. But I just it's just everything around here like i like this first section going into the subway super bell subway enjoyer over here so i enjoy this whole first part but then once you get past this going into these sections it, it's so insanely similar to london loop that my brain just can't recognize it yeah i i, I can i can see that all right genesis they're the the one they're one but I th they're one three right now and then you've got a two four five i believe on the side of uh uh, 5D. Ooh, 245. That's still not impossible to take them out. Let's see what's going to happen here. Red Shulk does come out. The gonna horn. Get rid of That's kind yeah. of He's going to pop it immediately. Get rid of one of those other Genesis players. Now we got JP uh, in the front right now. Has a Red Shell. Going to hold on to it. Has that third place protection there by Tynan. Let's see what they're going to be able to do here. What it, what? Decides not to chain. I mean, I'm surprised by that one. Ooh. Oh, that back. My heart and then the ghost of the red. So now he doesn't even have a real good way to hit out JP. I I'm I'm kind of lost, but I okay. Throws the oh, green oh. forward. Oh, I doesn't thought that hit. Land. That actually got. I think JP back their item was able to counteract the green smart bounce. So really great awareness there. But then. Unfortunately, I think that second coin has been a really common occurrence recently for no reason at all. Yeah. I don't know why, but even when I was playing online, I feel like I've been getting that nonstop. Finally has the opportunity to oh, chain the it. the second red. Is there, there's no double defense in first. It looks like you're going to be able to take this. Beautiful move there. Finally did Not that. True. Has a red shell there. Blue shell Making is out. Making home the blue. Yeah, that's a, that's a good, good comeback there for 5D. Yeah, really good stuff. One, two, oh, but we're losing the three, four, but still one, two, uh, five. Not terrible. Not bad. Really like it so far. I mean, they're playing extremely well. They're keeping their lead. They, it's not gone up, but you know, it's gone up to 16 points, but still keeping that consistent 12 point lead is the way to go. Just saying, hey, if we can grab these top spots, that's going to be it. And we're going to be good to go. Yeah, these, these uh, since that first that original, what was it, plus fourteen on the side of Royal Flush? It's been with every race has been extremely close. It really has been, and look at that Royal Flush working their way up to twenty two points of a lead. That's gonna be really good for them at this point. I mean, twenty two points in in a, in a regular war. It doesn't seem like a lot, but in a match like this, where they're just consistently getting those top spots and just allowing themselves to get that top six, it's really a lot harder to catch back up on unless you get a really good track, but we're going to be seeing that RWS come the out. Nubs. Yeah, the r -dubs. I actually don't enjoy this runner. I think there's don't either. more fun. <laughs> okay, that seems to be a popular opinion, apparently, but everyone still picks it. It's, I, it's, a, it's good for what it does, but it's terrible to play, is like the, I think, the general consensus on this track. Because it is nearly impossible after, like, this original corner to just hit people out of top spots if a team has top three. Oh! oh. <laughs> Talking about hitting people out with the banana snipe. Beautiful. Yep, we see it there. We saw it from Nico there. 
Oh, another? But the, the bananas no, are coming out crazy. No, this is the crazy. same one. This, um, this POV is just slightly behind the other, so we got to see Banana Snipe after it happened. That's beautiful, and we're seeing a first place from Genesis, third here, right behind Asuka. Let's see if Markel's gonna be able to just work their way forward and just keep this demanding front-running presence. As you know, it's pretty hard, like you said, to hit people out, but it's not impossible. Has the green shell. Let's see if they're gonna go for the snipe with the protection that they have behind them. Ooh, the rang in second is a great protection item to keep your first to keep your first protected. You've essentially got four defense. Yeah, absolutely. And with this green shell, I mean, my God, what an absolute great running presence there. Uh, and at this top, point, once we go over... Top four. Ooh. You know what? If you can do that on RWS, this is going to be a great race for you. I cannot believe how good Genesis has done like has been on this track because being able to just snipe out top two immediately take it all over and now it's just a battle of saying hey if we get a hail mary kind of situation that's that's what we need to do right now you see i think there's two people possibly back there going for shock and i'd assume they're both on the side of royal flush oh absolutely they're going to try and salvage any sort of situation here back red does not land going to see another waluigi get hit in the back of the pack but still, with one Shroom, two Shroom, and a Hail Mary blessing, it doesn't even matter. And the back tire confirms the top three. That is... Oh! Okay, I was about to say, is that a top four? No, that's a 5D player. Top three. What a reverse! You rarely see that in RWS, oh, but you I'm said it. Yeah. Having that top three finish is ridiculous. That is that is that is probably going to flip the leader on its head. I think we're going to see either a tie. We're going to be very close to a tie, or even maybe Genesis taking the lead there because a lot of bottom spots again from Royal Flush. Honestly, if you can legitimately get those top spots out of the way on RWS and with that beautiful banana snipe, that beautiful communication, really great work by Genesis, and that's going to trim up the lead down to ten points, which is huge going into this uh six race we see three and then a, a mixture of tracks it looks like from genesis here got pps hyrule and grumble all being picked although the grumble looks like it's on the side of 5d that's gonna be quite interesting I, I, I've been seeing that a lot, you know, just a one person indiv pick. And it's so I, be <laughs> oh my god. And you know what? Reason I haven't seen it happen. Actually, we're on the seventh race. I, that's pretty. Uh, I, do, do you understand the one track indiv pick? Is that is that like a common thing now? Because yeah, I've been I seeing know. that I've nonstop. Been... The only reason I've, I've seen it is if like it's communicated one track's being played and you switch. And the one person has already gone and, you know, clicked it. Oh, missing items there is unfortunate at the start of Grumble. Oh, yeah, though, you do not want to battle it out with the rest of these racers. Especially, as you're seeing right there, already getting dragged out. Top two still for the side of Genesis has the red shell drag. Got to be careful. Remember, lag is still a thing. The game might think you're closer than you actually are, but still really great spacing there from Type S. Gonna be able to take this boost panel into the next. He's not gonna be able to cut though because of that red. Yeah, he can't take the full the full cut there, and you got a top three on the side of Genesis. He try on his own mate there. I couldn't see in time, but now top three still for Genesis, and now we see this first place run here. And honestly, I at this point on Grumble Volcano, you know, I do believe it's a kind of harder task to get out top three but at the same time if you can get a shock or something it will be devastating for the side of genesis oh yeah for sure shocks are super prevalent but it's equally as hard to just get out top spots because of how easy it is to run after that starting that um that starting draft period because like there's not a lot of cuts the cuts equal it's equal to like the length of rws where you've got you know the little off-road cut skipping an ending section but besides that there's not much to catch up and she hits the fire or the what, what are those called i just call uh, them the fire have, things the fire the, snakes I, the fire snakes there you go i i do not know the actual name i thought i did but no it's not coming to me right now but currently into this last oh the shock for 5d 
In the blue! Told... This I is how you turn you. it around. It is gonna be huge as you're seeing. Unfortunately, going down to nine coins, that's gonna be six coins after this blue shell lands. Mm. Another, there's a few seconds behind onto this. POV. And then getting flattened by his own mate. That is brutal. And now we're seeing a top two, four on this side of five. The bomb is no! out there. Oh my god. And the ghost. She and did. Did you oh. just take top three? What happened here? Gonna see it a little bit different POV. And now. 5D player did get hit out. I think that was a Suka, and that ended up being a 1 3 4 on the side of Genesis. That 10 11 is going to hurt him, though. It's not going to be as big of a swing. Beautiful move there with the bomb, though. Just sniping out Royal Flesh. That is something you rarely see, especially on that turn where you can just snipe them accurate precision strike and then take over those spots. But still, grabbing 1 3 4, it's still going to, I think trim down the lead a little bit for the side of royal flush we're gonna be seeing that once the score gets uh topped up it's oh, tied. Tied. oh my god a plus is... 10 race Woo. plus 10 and going into the last five we've got a tie and i did get confirmation they're actually called fire snakes that's it that's it that's the original that's the, yeah that's the original one <laughs> Uh, really original name there, Nintendo. Thank you. Yeah, right. for sure. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, if I was, could not think of what to call those, I would call them a fire snake. That's fair. <laughs> oh, it is called one. That's ridiculous. All right, TPS here. No inwards, so no inwards will be able to take advantage of the easier lines that they have on this track. Yeah, it, it, TPS, uh, I like the first part. There's a lot of drafting. There's a lot of bumping. It's really fun, I like the aesthetics, but then once you get into the second part of the underwater section, it becomes an all-out battlefield of just non-stop items. Beautiful drag here with the red There's shell. The trail. And now we see a lot of top spots here. Two, three, four, five, six for the side of Genesis. Let's see if they're gonna be able to hold on to it as we go forward. Banana hit is gonna go on the to the side of JP. Here. I assume, yeah, back to Oh, the fire almost connects. Next to the red so you can't pass. Look at this front presence, though. My goodness. This is a whole entire Genesis behind a Donkey Kong. Will they have this? Oh, no. He's, he's, he's on me. Oh, that is not what you want to do with that Fire Flower. That's rough. I feel like that was just a mistake from him drifting, and he just ang angled it slightly forward, and that was, it was over, really. Yeah. Uh, it was a really unfortunate angle there. But right now we are seeing 5D probably going to go for something here. They need a Hail Mary or otherwise. But this bullet bill is going to bring uh, Type S to a very good spot. But still, this Donkey Kong running for their lives, trying to yes. keep any hopes and dreams alive. The bill here is going to be actually rather large. It's going to get him up to five, I think. Four, even. Makes the red in front of him, though, again, he can't pass without the defense. So yeah, you're sort of 1-4 and you can't really know potential to move up except for maybe this ending cut. It's it is uh, rough. I did not get to see there. I looked over to the chat for half a second and then you see Type S spinning out and losing a double item box and a blue shell's out, which is going to allow Ooh. Genesis to just take it all over. But still that Donkey Kong getting that probably fourth place finish going over to the other point of view. Got, or, yeah, okay, so this, he still got second, but it wasn't, I mean, it was still a six oh, point okay. swing, but it could have been a lot worse. Oh, well, Ooh. one, three to five is still pretty, pretty unfortunate on the side of uh, Royal Flush there. Not what you want going into the last Grand Prix, might I say. It's gonna be not a fun last four races coming up, going into race nine. What can uh, Royal Flush bring out here? Because that was just a bad race, but it's something to be expected on a track like PPS. There's going to be goofiness. There's going to be some really unfortunate moments. And that final ending shortcut, of course, being one of the strongest things in the world. But we're going to be seeing MC3 for the side of Royal Flush. And then or uh, Hyrule Circuit. 14 point lead. 14 point lead on the side of Genesis. I believe this is the first time they've led this match going in after race, uh, race 8 here. 
I think so as well. This is the first lead that Genesis has had, and for Royal Flush to throw it all away like this, that's not the most fun situation to be put in. Minus, minus 14, especially going into the last four races. Granted, this four races, it seems like a lot, but if you do not take over these top spots, it's going to be brutal. All it takes is one bad race this late on already being down to to either deflate the team or just be too hard to come back because the largest race we've seen is a plus 14 for either end. Agreed. Agreed. You do just... It just... Everything goes downhill if you're not able to get a good race here. And, and going to Hyrule Circuit, something that Royal Flush most definitely did not want, we're going to see what they're going to be able to do here because the front-running presence from Genesis is just so insanely strong. See, this is a Genesis top four right now, I think. Oh, we see a little skip in the future here. Type S down to six. And we're seeing a lot of Genesis in the front of the pack. That is a pretty ridiculous got, amount of people got, out there. But what? So what is that? Four top five for Genesis, likely? Uh, if there is Asuka up there for this side of 5D, unless they just got hit out. I think that was just who died. Type uh, S almost connecting. Boomerang's such a good spot here. It's such a good item, especially in this mid-pack when you don't have to worry about a thing. But now you got to worry about a teammate Ooh, getting hit. back fired. That is brutal. And then hitting his own mate out with the last use of the ring as well. Oh, like I said, when it comes down to it, Royal Flush's item play gets a little bit sloppy when they get desperate. And it's just one of those things that has been holding them back, I feel like, as time has gone on. As we're going to go a little bit to the past. We went back to the future, and now we're going back to the past. Uh, two, another Genesis player. We're going to be seeing them take that shortcut and then have a ghost in hand. We got Type S here back with a star. Back to the future again. Back to the future two. There you go, the sequel. Oh, the bill. Oh, and this is not the sequel that you want to see. A little bit of a disaster getting hit by that bullet bill. Has the triple shrooms, though, which can allow uh, a lot of disaster. A lot of catch-up potential with that. With the, those triple shrooms, he's 5D maybe rescuing a bit of a race there, getting 3 4. That was beautiful. I don't know what happens in that no item shortcut area, but yeah, oh, 9, 10, 11 going also rough. to Royal Flush. And that, yeah, like we were talking about, that might be a pretty brutal race to try and catch back up on because with three more races, it's not possible. It's not, it's not. We don't want to count them out just yet, but it's still gonna, that's gonna hurt. Not impossible. It's still only 26. Technically, that's still within one race. You know, you can get up to 40 points from a race. It's not impossible to turn this around. Just a lot harder. Going back to Mario Circuit 3. And Neo Bowser City. Ooh, let's see. What's going to be possible here? I, I am quite curious. Uh, Mario Circuit 3, what's your opinion on this one? I think it's actually a pretty difficult I've, bagging track, in my opinion, but I it's, enjoy it. It's harder than it lets on, and it's possible to run, so it's a bagging... I, I hated it at first, but now I'm okay with it. It's still bland, like it was in Wii. But, um, it's not... I don't think it's as bad as some people can let it on... Lead it on to be. I agree with you. Um, and, and in this aspect, it is really what Royal Flush needs to try and uh get the royal flesh they need to bring themselves back in the money but at the same point i it, you know it, it's difficult it's a difficult bagging track it's it, it's not just like cheese land where you can just hey go back but and here's you a know bill. for sure yeah like here's a bell go in is what cheese land can end up being S similar with yoshi circuit even yeah it, with like you said this has a lot more front running potential which allows other players that aren't necessarily as comfortable with bagging to just run and race the track and still have a good chance of winning a race. Not hits hits his opponent. Hitting opponents in the back is still pretty pretty good because you're you're forcing them to drop those three coins, which when you're bagging, part of the thing you're doing is trying to grab those extra coins. He hits them again. <laughs> I love to see it just uh, one one after another after another hit, and now we're seeing. Type S, unfortunately, getting taken over here. A lot of Genesis in the back that we're seeing. Gonna just grab the single item box. Golden Mushroom, one of my most hated items in the game. We hate like, Golden Mushrooms. I hope they buff them once we get the new Mario Kart game because I feel like Golden Mushrooms. I feel like I'm going slower than I actually was without it. 
Well, especially like in like 200 CC, even they're like the worst. I, I would rather a coin. Like, oh, oh, the shock. And was that on the side of Genesis shock? Let's see. Going into the back. Yeah, it was. was. Beautiful usage there, being able to dodge. That was actually out of the bullet bill, frame perfect dodge. Really good stuff there. Didn't even have to pop the star. And now, in interesting sixth to place. see he's using it now, right? He's gonna be able to take this all the way through the little Nisk, I believe. And then those three shrooms will come in clutch for the end. Because that's all you need to take the. Oh, he. Oh, the red. Super Green is at the bottom of the left, hits one of the Genesis players. Oh, fire comes Genesis out, Genesis is for it. I think a ghost passed that. Oh, there was a star to the right. To top two, top two, bottom four for Royal Flush. That is really unfortunate. Oh, that is, no, yeah, that, that's gonna be a hurtful race. That's it. That That'll be, I think that's that's generally around a plus six or so on the side of um, Genesis. It was a minus eight for uh, 5D. So yeah, 34 with two races to go. You're going to need two yep. really large races, almost guaranteeing to need top three. So we'll see how um, they get on. They're going a mix of New York and Twisted. I like some Twisted Mansion. I think it's too overly hated. I think it's, you know, there are some... Uh, pretty terrible moments on the Twisted Mansion, but I do enjoy it. And with that being the track that they wanted and getting bottom four, that's just really unfortunate. But we are going over to TM. Right, the track is, this is a track pick for Genesis as well. So Genesis, they're getting the advantage of being in all the drafting spots going into it. It's going to be quite interesting to see what's going to happen here. We've got a few more races coming at you guys. The shrine is huge. 5D gets uh, gets out in 1-3 to start pretty early on here. Top two? That could be all oh, the red. Ooh, From that's two just... It is really tough. It really is. It's just one of those moments where... Hey, Twisted Mansion's either going to be your you know like your best friend or just your worst enemy so at this point you got to just say hey what can we do in the position that we're in and we're already seeing one of those waluigi's in the back of the pack trying to catch up yeah i wonder which side that waluigi's on trying to go and pull that shock because he's just about in range all oh, the bill's gonna unless there's shock behind bill there's no one in shock distance now so it's all about who can run, outrun the other team and out them. Now going down to this That second. fire, oh, he goes the opposite way. He could have really, he hits, oh, he doesn't hit him. Oh, I love the lag in Mario Kart. An absolute amazing thing to see. The backfire not <laughs> landing. And then, whoa, hey, the hit beautiful out. move. But we're going to see if they're going to get hit out immediately. No, they got Tynan right behind them. So a little bit of protection going into this final lap. They got to just take over first place. And this could be a huge race for the side of Royal Flush. Yeah, if they can just, if they can chain some reds even, could be massive. I think he's going wide to allow his teammate to try and fire out Perion. No reds though, so they really got to, I think, got to rely on. They're not even going to try and snipe him out. Oh, there's so many up here for Genesis. Oh, that's good. They're, they're one, three, four, I think. Where is Royal Flush when you need them most? And it's looking like 5D oh, gonna get top top out. Top three, top four. Oh, that top might top be three, wrapping it up. I think that's a wrap on the on the match. I think that'll push them just above the forty line. A top three, five, seven, nine. And we'll a definitely, bottom three. For we'll the definitely side of wrap Flush. the match up for Genesis there. Genesis really actually struggling throughout this entire match, but then just all of a sudden, final Grand Prix, they said, all right, we got to put the pedal to the metal and take over this entire match. I, I don't know what happened for Royal Flush here, getting these bottom spots time and time again. You know what? I, I really do feel bad for the side of Royal Flush because that they were playing so well. a 62-point difference. Oh, Holy shit. That is Joe. unfortunate. Oh my. Yeah. I mean, you know what? Royal Flush just 
Just leave now. You got 420. That's the biggest yeah, thing in the right? ghost. Well, <laughs> just, just take take the wins you can get, you know? Uh, that It's so sad because Royal Flush had was doing had so the extremely lead. well. Yeah, they had a 16-point lead. They were playing well. They were doing well. And now going into this final race, Boo Lake, they just didn't have what they needed in this final Grand Prix. There's every, even the tracks that they got and they wanted, it didn't work out for them. So I don't know what kind of communication went on, just yeah. RNG really bad, or just the mentality was draining once they started to lose their lead. Once it, I think once, um, once they tied up Genesis, I think there was only one winner coming out of this match. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I do. I, I had that same sinking feeling in my stomach as well when it came down to it. it right when it, the scores got tied, I was like, come on, Royal Flesh, you guys got this. You don't need to be uh, dying here, but we're going to be seeing Boo oh, Lake and we're seeing Type S. Side right there, unfortunately. What's your opinion on this track? I actually love it. It's cute. It's adorable. It's straightforward. I, I like, there's not any really insanity to this track and it's really short what about yourself I, it's it's was it's like a snowland of the last one it was the, like the surprisingly good track that really probably had no expectations tied to it i totally agree i i like when i saw boo lake i was like oh cool we get a lake we get more underwater sections i've been wanting that but then like when i got on the track i was like this was just fun it's fast paced it's it's pretty straightforward and it's just fun and it's still a little, got a little bit of chaos because they do factor in the three item sets with on some of these tracks that are shorter, you could easily see two. And I also oh, think that there's the a lot of, lot of space that you can do a lot of goofiness on as well. Like, you're seeing how wide these racetracks are. You're seeing how wide it is and the little no item shortcut that you can take here, but you're going to run into the little bushes. I think that's pretty funny and fun. And if you have, you know, items like you just saw there with the triple greens, you can just go right through it. But going into this final section of Boo Lake, this is going to wrap it up with, oh my goodness, Type S being able to avoid every fire in the book. But I do believe there was a lot of Genesis up front if I, nope. Oh, Ooh. top two, five, yep. six. Too little, too late, though. Unfortunately, that was a great race. They could have used it race nine. Yeah, that was that was the royal flush we were seeing for the first eight races. But then it all just went away in that final Grand Prix. But we do have to give a round of applause to Genesis for doing such an amazing job in that final moments in those final races. They said, "We got this. We can win." and absolutely dominated Royal Flush. And now Royal Flush is going to be even more on the cutting room floor trying to get into playoffs in these last few races.